Hello there, welcome to a relaxing gameplay series. We're going to be playing Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. And you can find the same game being played at my Dreamwalker channel, but it's a funny and very chaotic gameplay. <laughs> but for here, I decided to bring something with some soft-spoken, more soft sounds, nothing too loud, something that you can relax and maybe even fall asleep watching. So enjoy, it's very fun, it's a great game, we can explore Hogwarts and just walking around, it, it's extremely fun. So yeah, let's do this. So, welcome to Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. So, today, we are doing something a bit different from the usual gameplay series that you are, well, used to see here. I decided to change things a little bit, and now the gameplay series will be in my second channel, the Dreamwalker channel. But over there, it's going to be funny, loud, and chaotic as it used to be here. But I'm going to bring here to the ASMR channel a more relaxing version of the gameplay. Just with some soft spoken, uh, less commentary. And I'm going to be editing the loud moments so they are softer and less intrusive in your ears. And you're going to be able to enjoy this maybe during bedtime um, or any time that you want. <laughs> it's just a more relaxed version of this game, okay? So, let's begin. Let's start a new game. And I... I'm going to press here, New Adventure. And I'm going to keep the subtitles on so that you can read um, during the parts that I make the, the audio softer. And yeah, um, I do uh, suggest that you check out the funny and chaotic <laughs> version of this as well. If you are interested, you just need to look into my YouTube page here. Uh, the main page, page, and you will find the, the Dreamwalker channel linked. Just check it out if you're curious, but if you want something more relaxed, then you are watching the right video. The beginning here is a bit loud, so I'm editing the sound. As you can see, there are Dementors. <laughs> So yeah, let's deal with that. Brilliant pants, Big D. See you, Big D. Same time tomorrow. And let's deal with Dudley. Hey, Big D. Beat up another ten-year-old. Least I don't cry in my sleep. Don't kill Cedric. Boo-hoo! What are you talking about? Hey! Complete normal dialogue. The Dementors. Do not worry, Dudley. I'm going to save you. <laughs> I'm very good at this spell, so nothing to worry about. It's just Dementors. They don't even do anything. They just try to kiss you. Underage magic cast in the presence of a muggle. Potter, or is it Plotter? Oh well. Here we are, a grim old place. Danger to the wizarding community. It was self-defense. And serious. Hello, Harry. 
I see the other members of the order managed to get you here safely. Once he got his packing done. See you later, Harry. Yeah. You know, Harry Bastards. might be a danger to the community <laughs> because you're going to see how mad, angry he is. Welcome to number 12, Grimold Place. Headquarters of the Order of the Phoenix. The Order of the what? It's a secret society. The people who fought against Voldemort last time. Let me show you around. What have you been doing? I've been doing nothing. <laughs> You've had all the fun here at the headquarters of the Order. I've been doing nothing. It's not that exciting. Mostly we'd be doing cleaning for Mum. Mrs. Weasley's very keen on cleaning. Could you give me a hand? I have to move all the stuff in this room against that wall so Mum can clean the floor. It's okay, Harry. You're not at the Dursleys now. You're allowed to use magic. Thank God. I recommend using Accio and Depulso. Handy, but I've not learned those spells yet. Just copy me. What? Let's practice Accio first. I'll use that chair to show you how. First, you need to aim at the chair, then move your wand like this. Then say, Accio! I know my spells, Sirius, don't you? Accio! Don't you know I used Accio in the Triwizard Tournament? But let's do this anyway. Let's learn the spells we already know because everyone has amnesia in Harry Potter games. But yeah, here you can see I can just move my wand. You can do it. Move the wand carefully. I can move it using the the joystick. It's a very now nice very nice way to do the spells. Uh let's let's just break everything, right? That'll speed things up. Yes. Might actually get finished before tea now. Accio is great for pulling objects. Depulso is what you need for pushing. All you have to do is aim, move your wand like this, and say, Depulso. Let's just break Depulso. everything. <laughs> you see? Wizard Depulso. logic. That's it. It's good to be casting some magic for a change. The logic of the wizards. Let's move the, the furniture. In a very, very careful way. <laughs> so, we need to move everything from over here to over there. That's right. And we cannot use hands. It's like a game. Don't use your hands. <laughs> you can only use the wands. And it's not even Wingardium Leviosa or anything. Like, <laughs> to properly move it around. Let's just... The pulse of everything against that wall. Thanks. That might stop Mum moaning for five minutes. Have you seen Ron or Hermione? Mum gave us all things to do. They're about somewhere. Let's find them. See you, Ginny. How was your summer? I bet your summer's been better than mine. <laughs> the Dumbledore made us swear not to write. He seemed to think it best. He's really, really mad. He was really angry when he heard about the Dementors. If I hadn't been stuck at the Dursleys, maybe that wouldn't have happened. Okay, calm down. Molly drafted you into domestic duties too, Hermione? I'm fixing these. Then we'll give you a hand. Reparo is the spell for this job. Here, just watch me. Aim at the thing that's broken. Then you move your wand like this and say, Reparo! Come on, Hermione has done that a hundred times. Reparo. With Oculus Reparo, I know how this works, Sirius. Don't treat me like a child. I'm not a child. Okay, let's not imitate Harry. He's too angry. We need to chill. This is a ASMR gameplay. Let us relax. Excellent. Come on, Hermione. Let's give this place a spring clean. Maybe then Molly will talk to me without scowling. All right. Let's fix this place up. Let's just use our magic here. Now, this makes sense, all right? Everything is broken. And we're just going to repair everything. I'm just waving my wand at Hermione's face. <laughs> yeah, that's part of the funny gameplay, okay? So, honestly, you're missing it out if you're not watching on my second channel. I'm going to say this a hundred times. Because <laughs> I'm trying to get people to, to subscribe there. But yeah. Let's fix this kitchen. And how are you all doing? Let me ask you. Uh, have you been doing well? 
such a mess. Maybe a creature had some help. Creature wouldn't let another house elf sully his beloved mistress's house. Who's creature? A foul waste of house elf skin. Your other friends will want to see you. Let's find them. What happened with those Dementors? I thought you'd be safe around Muggles. Lucky Lupin taught you Expecto Patronum. Yeah, that's me. Lucky. Okay. Lucky I'm gonna get expelled from Hogwarts for stopping a Dementor from kissing me. You'll be back at Hogwarts soon enough. Oh my god. Not with the time it's taken me to pack, we won't. Then let us and give Sirius you a just ignores how mad Harry is. Leviosa, the lifting spell. Watch closely. Aim your wand at the clothes and then move it like this. Okay, now I'm I am getting angry. Seriously. Wingardium, Seriously, serious. Now they're in the air, we can move the clothes around like this. To drop the clothes in the trunk. Just I know Wingardium Leviosa serious. Okay, let's take Ron's clothes and put them in the trunk. Wingardium Leviosa. Using magic because we cannot use our hands. Wizards don't don't use their hands. Cast. I cannot blame them. If I had a Great. wand, I wouldn't probably use my hands anymore for anything. <laughs> Just use magic to Good cast. You've got it. Now, let's get everything else packed up. All right, all right, let's do this for Ronald because he's such a lazy Weasley. Thanks. I don't know how stuff gets that spread out. Wingardium Leviosa. Useful for moving things around and for keeping Ron's socks at arm's length. Hermione's been reading up. She says they can't expel you. Yeah. yeah. What were the Dementors doing there anyway? That is a very good question. I have to go to a meeting of the Order. You stay and catch up with your friends, Harry. Okay. I don't have any friends. I wonder if this meeting's important. Let's find the others. Don't worry. Harry stops being this mad in a little bit. Once we get to Hogwarts... Everyone's expecting you. They're through here. Is that mortal? You think of what I'm thinking? Huh? Let's see what they are talking about. What are they talking about? We can use the invisibility cloak, but it's still getting difficult to maintain a proper guard. You know the importance Voldemort places on them. We must find a way. Voldemort's after some sort of weapon. Maybe it's something that can kill lots of people. Shh, the meeting's finished. Quick, get to bed before Mum catches us. My boss has got it. Whatever it is. Yeah. The characters, they look really weird sometimes. They look very, <laughs> very odd. Potter escapes punishment. New appointed Hogwarts teacher. Oh, for the love of God. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Well, we are at Hogwarts now. Now life is happier. Now life is good. We are at Hogwarts. And finally, let's start playing. For real. Welcome to Hogwarts. Welcome to Hogwarts, everyone. So for the first time in the video games, we have a very, um, rather realistic Hogwarts to explore. And it's the best thing to do. Explore. Listen, Ron. Well done, mate. Becoming a prefect. I never thought it'd be me. I thought it'd be you. Nah. 
I've caused too much trouble. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Come on, we better get to the common room. Ah, uh, we are. We are going to get there. But first, let's see everything that we can do here. Wingardium Leviosa! We can move benches around. And I believe we can throw them at people. Let's test on Ronald. Sorry, mate. It doesn't seem to do much damage to you, so... No problem doing it. Let's try on that slithering. Get out of here. Get out. Yes. Okay. Well, here we are. Harry Potter already causing trouble at Hogwarts. How dare you, Potter, to come back here and show your face. Yeah, uh, lots of the students around here are very mad at Harry. Some love them, some hate them. Um, and here's McGonagall. Let's talk to her. Surely you have studies to attend to. Move along. Not rude. Not rude at all. But yeah, it's the best thing to do with this game. To explore Hogwarts. And it's so atmospheric, you know. You can listen to the to the other students talking, gossiping, like now, for example. And it's almost a perfect recreation of Hogwarts. So yeah, I did spend so many hours of my my childhood just walking around this castle, and now you're going to spend hours doing it with me. And look. There's a girl over there. There's lots of girls, girls here at Hogwarts. But Harry Potter doesn't have, doesn't have the the swag with them. He doesn't know what to to say. Neither do I. Most of the time. Let's talk to Snape. Going somewhere, Potter? You should be in the Gryffindor common room, preparing for yet another year of academic underachievement. Underachievement? Oh my God! Okay. Okay, Snape. Fine. I'll let you be there alone with your black clothes in the sun. Don't you feel the heat? <laughs> Hello there. Hey, Harry. Have you two noticed Hagrid's not here? He must be doing something for the order. Keep your voice down. Quiet, George. He might take points off us. <laughs> <laughs> Good laugh. Anyway, if you don't hurry up, you'll be finding Hermione in a bad mood. So, what can we do? Not the brightest, is he? I solemnly swear he <laughs> isn't the Not brightest. Not the brightest, yes. Oh, yeah, the Marauder's Map. There we go. Let's open the map. The Marauder's Map. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. And here we have a very... Difficult to understand <laughs> drawing of Hogwarts. And there we have Hermione. Mischief managed. You'd better get upstairs. And Not then the footprints. Like yeah, in the ground will show us the way. But let me take another look around here. See if we're not missing anything. Wingardium Leviosa! There are lots of little things to do. Deposo. Around. And we get points, apparently. And there's wow. Myrtle. Have you made a discovery, Harry? Myrtle? Uh, well, I found something. That's what a discovery is. Yes. There are things all over Hogwarts that can be discovered. Come on, Harry, use your brain. With our luck, we'll find another chamber of secrets. Only this time it'll be full of spiders. Not spiders. <laughs> Special things. Things that most people never see. Do you mean there is another chamber? Not a chamber. More of a room. I found it when I was hiding in the pipes. Every time someone makes a discovery, special things appear in the room. Special secret things. Great! Where is this room of rewards? Oh, yes. Just ask Myrtle. Myrtle will tell you everything. Well, it's a secret. You just have to discover it for yourself. Oh, great, Myrtle. Great. That was wonderful. Very, very helpful. Wingardium Leviosa! 
What's Myrtle doing around here anyway? Shouldn't she be at the bathroom and in the pipes? <laughs> I guess she'll go anywhere to just see Harry around. <laughs> Let's see what we can do with the broom. Probably just clean this floor of all of these dead leaves. And we found something. Would love that. What the broom? The well, doesn't she, doesn't she have one? I think she has one. Hiya. I mean, she has a, a self cleaning sink, which just yeah, brushes yeah. the plates and everything on its own. Why doesn't she have a broom? That brooms around on its own as well. So let's get inside the castle. Here we are. In the entrance hall. And it's so well done. I mean. For the Hi. for the time it was made. It was the best. Best Harry Potter game ever. Hello, Harry. And it still looks. Very very good I think. It looks very good. Uh, we cannot go into the great hall. Not yet. So let's move. To the stairs. Uh, hi, Joe. Well, uh, I just thought I'd say hello. Did you have a good summer? No, really. I mean, apart from the hearing and almost being expelled. No. Uh, is that a tornado's badge? You don't support them, do you? Look at Harry's posture. Yeah, I do. I'll see you later, Harry. Everyone's posture in this game is really weird. For some reason. Even worse than mine. And I have my shoulders forward. Usually. People only started supporting the tornadoes when they won the league. Let's get to the collar room. We don't want to keep the whiny waiting. Oh yes. The lovely grand staircase where we can do our daily marathon and just run a thousand steps up. Because that's what Hogwarts students do. They exercise a lot. So yeah. Um let me go. Let me go. I'm gonna go. Look at all of the details. All of the, the portraits. Some of them even move. So yeah, I mean, this game still looks great and it's very, very much like the movies. We are going to see Hogwarts Legacy sometime soon. And it, it will have amazing visuals and graphics but it is different it's a different style and a different sort of layout of Hogwarts so you won't look exactly like the movies like this does but I'm very very excited to to, to just discover the new version you know of Hogwarts but this here is the ultimate, like, experience, you know? If you just want to jump into the world from the movies. Hiya, Harry. Hello there. How are you doing? Let, let me wave my wand. It's my way of saluting people. <laughs> I just wave my wand like this at their faces. Okay. Enough. Well, we want to get into the Gryffindor common room, don't we? So, let's do that. Password? I don't know it. Do you? I thought you did. Aren't prefects told in advance? Yeah, it, it was something to do with, you know... Oh, uh, god uh, damn it, Ronald. I don't know. They told us loads of stuff. Great. So how do we get in? No password, no entry. Yeah, of course. Come on. Let's find someone else from Gryffindor and ask them the password. You had one job, Ron. One job. And you failed it. Well done. Oh, there we have fellow Gryffindor. Hi, do you know what the password is for the common room? Uh, Mimbulus Mimbletonia? Good. You passed my prefect test. Now move it, midget. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, uh, yes, Ronald. It was just a test, wasn't it? Now look what you did to the boy. You scared him. He just vanished running away for his life Ronald are you are you proud of yourself password 
Regulus Mimbletonia. Correct. Okay, let's go in, Ronald. Try not to scare anyone else. Where have you two been? You'd better look at the notice board. What a welcoming, uh, you know, what a warm welcoming, Hermione. Shouting at us already. We've been up to stuff, okay? Let me spell this, this board. See if there's anything here. Unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. I can't believe he got double potions on a Monday. We better find Neville. I bet he's not looked at the timetable yet. And we've got Umbridge for defense against the dark arts next. Maybe this is a time to check your map. Why Neville specifically? Why Neville? Why wouldn't he have... Well, uh, it's Neville. He probably hasn't looked at the, the time board, yes. But what about our other friends? Well, we will, can worry about them later. Let's find Neville Longbottom. But first, let me take a look. A look. Tuk, tuk. <laughs> what was that? My, my English. You'd like to play chess with me? Right now? Great. No, 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 no. I'm not going to play this. I played the, the wizard chess in the other channel in the funny gameplay. And <laughs> you can check it out over there. But it takes quite a bit, like 20 minutes to finish. It is hard. Maybe if you try again. So we're not going to, I'm not going to show it right here, right now. Because I know you're more interested in seeing Hogwarts. The fat lady, is <laughs> it's mad about something. Well, this common room, common room, common room. My God, I swear my English is starting to fail. But let's just, <laughs> let's get on top of the table. Of course, of course, yes. Let me, Harry, God damn it. Get out of there. And there's Crookshanks. Crookshanks, Hermione's cat. Okay, mate. All right. Hiya. Let me pet. Can I pet you with my wand? <laughs> Apparently, he doesn't like it very much. Okay, sorry. I'll stop. I'll stop. Let's talk. You're a reporter, aren't you? Yes, I am. Harry Potter. I, I hope the Tornadoes win the league this year. Ah, oh, yes, the Tornadoes don't know. My mum doesn't believe in the Daily Prophet. She says if Dumbledore believes you, then she does too. She's a very wise lady. Um, I want to... I always wanted to be in God Gryffindor because of you, Harry. Let me talk, will you? This is a one-sided conversation or what? What are you... I, I'm Sorry, I'm in the middle of something right now. Okay, I see how it is. I'm gonna talk to someone else. Any chance I could borrow your history of magic essay? I fell asleep in the last lesson. No, sorry. No. <laughs> That's your problem. Your problem, my friend. What are the properties of Moonstone anyway? Whatever. <laughs> oh, the answers that Harry d uh, has are the best. How much powdered griffin claw do you use in the strengthening solution? Whatever, mate. Hmm, never mind, I'll look it up. Whatever, yeah, yeah. Have you decided what you're going to do when you leave Hogwarts? I was thinking about training security trolls. Oh, not that. Not that. <laughs> Wouldn't. He called me the fat lady. Lady, I may be, but he is no gentleman. <laughs> Okay, uh, anything else? Let's try to do some magic around here. And look, I made a book fly. Book's flying. That reminds me of the first uh, three games. Remember when the books used to attack us? We had to fight them. The crazy books. Let's see if we can get into the dormitories. Nope. Not allowed into the dormitories. Not yet.
Excuse me, you two. Excuse me. So, anything else here? Uh, we should go and find Neville. Let's explore a bit. Please make sure that Mr. Longbottom remembers the password this year. Ah, uh, unfortunately I cannot promise anything like that. You know Neville. You know Neville. And I see Myrtle over there. No. Okay. Let's see what she wants. Oh, you found it then? Found what? The room I told you about, Tilly. Mm. It's just through this portrait. I didn't really well, find it. Really? Oh, for the power to jinx that minx. What do you want? For oh, verily, you are an offense to the eye. <laughs> oh my god. This man. Roasting ghosts. I'd like to go into the room of rewards. And if wishes grew on trees, life would be a breeze. Please pester someone else. <laughs> Do I need a password to come in? Did you not hear? I said push off. Well, we could. Or we could stay here until Myrtle comes back. Myrtle likes Harry. I'm sure if Harry asked her, she'd stay here all the time. <laughs> what? So, either we could go inside, or Harry could ask Myrtle to haunt him. To blackmailing. Forever. You, my girl, have a vindictive streak to be admired. Enter and tell that sobbing spectre to stay well away from me. Okay, we have a deal. <laughs> my god, Hermione. Blackmailing. Who cursed me with you? All your discoveries are making my arm ache. This, this portrait, my god. It really knows how to roast people. I'm going to start using that one. Who cursed me with you, Myrtle? I'm waiting for you. You found lots of special things, haven't you? You're an offense to no the one's eye. Ever found things as fast <laughs> as you. I hope you keep discovering them. Then you can fill up our special room. And I won't tell anyone else about it, Harry. It'll be our secret. No, 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 no. I don't want any secrets with you, Myrtle. There are a lot of interesting things. I wonder what else will appear in here. Hopefully not Myrtle anymore. Because she's an offense to the eye who cursed me with her. Okay. I wouldn't say that. I'm a nice, I'm a nice man, a nice guy. I wouldn't say those things. But that portrait, my God. So what do we have here? Nothing, apparently. Just this one here, it's green. And <laughs> it's the game credits. No, uh, we're not going to see that now. Still lots of <laughs> gameplay to do before we get to the final credits. So, yes, let's go back. And find Neville. Oh, the portrait again. Who cursed me with you? All your discoveries are making my arm ache. Oh God, I see. We are going to, we're gonna have to be roasted every time we want to get in here. It's okay. It's okay. No problem. Oh. Students, 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 students. students. Do you see that, Sir Cadogan? Portrait, and it moves. I really love the details in this game. It's kind of a weird animation, just fading. But it's good enough, I mean, for the time. So let's go through here. Okay, the third floor. Very nice marble ground. Oh no. Oh no. I scared another girl. How about you? No. God. What is it? What, what is it about me that scares the girls so much? Do you know Hermione? I don't understand. Like, uh, here, let's, let's... Oh no. That's a slithering one. We don't want to talk to her. We cannot. Hello. 
What is this? Oh, it moves. Okay. Hello, another girl. Even the minister says he's mad. What did you say to me? Did you hear that, Ronald? My God. I mean, I'm being bullied by the girls. There's. Want to come to the gallery with me? No, sorry. My God, my God, Harry. <laughs> that was the first time one of them was nice to us. To us, and you blew it off like that. Why did you do that? Well, Deposo. there are more things to see in the Oh, God, Myrtle, who cursed me with you? <laughs> who cursed me with you, Myrtle? Okay, so one of the main quests in this game is to find a love interest for Harry. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But that seems to be a mission that I, myself, have established here. Because, yeah, um, it's, it's challenging, so we must do it, you know just to to grow up as people as individuals we must find a girlfriend for the chosen one and for Deposo. myself so that's why we are you know annoying so many girls around here but it's necessary it's necessary we must try and we are going to fail and fail again and again so many times but at some point we are going to we're going to be successful we're going to get a girl and let's continue fixing these armor sets I, i'm not actually sure how do i call them i'm just gonna say armor or statue hello there and we're going down here to, of course, fix more things. Look at the state of the school. Why is everything broken like this? I really do not understand. It seems like it's in purpose. So do we have stuff to do? Oh yes, of course. It's a game. We need stuff to do. <laughs> well, not complaining. And over here, even the poor portraits, the poor portraits, just all over the ground. Don't worry, Harry Potter is here to do everything in this goddamn school. Have to do everything on my own. So let's put them in the right order. It's a little, a little puzzle, apparently, <laughs> but it's not difficult at all. They could have made it a bit more difficult, so I don't feel like I am, you know, six years old playing this game. <laughs> ah, but I hope the the Hogwarts Legacy has all of these mini games and little things to do around like this girl over here she's playing some sort of wizard game like the other students were playing wizard chess and I do hope the new game has these you know mini games and things going around happening with other students at Hogwarts it just makes the whole thing feel very much alive And Neville is being bullied. Oh, for the love! You've not visited our secret room for a long. For the time. love of God, Myrtle! You should see what's in there. This is not the right timing. My God, I'm in the middle of a a, a thing. Point your wand at them. Point my wand. All right. Hey! <laughs> there we go. Tell my father. Thanks. 
I tried to stop them picking on some first years, but they started picking on me instead. At least you tried, Neville. Wasn't that against school rules, Hermione? We'd better get to defence against the dark arts. I'm not sure if that's, that this is the right lesson to learn here, but yeah. <laughs> Apparently just point your wand at their faces like this and they will go away. That's how Harry Potter solves stuff. Well, he is a mad, mad lad after all, isn't he? <laughs> Let's go to... Defense against the dark arts. I cannot wait for this. We need to go to defense against the dark arts. Yes, yes. Let's go have our first lesson with Umbridge. Lovely Umbridge. Oh, I love this this stairwell. I love the stairwell. But imagine, imagine just having to to walk all of these <laughs> steps every day. Just any, any, we really should get any Hogwarts students, and just ask them to show you their leg. You know, like just really strong muscular legs <laughs> and here we are defense against the dark arts oh no you didn't you didn't study hard and you will be rewarded fail to do so and the consequences may be even more unbearable in video game form there's nothing in here about actually using defensive spells uh, using <laughs> spells i can't imagine why you would need to use defensive spells oh why oh i don't know maybe because lord voldemort's back that is a lie it's not a lie i saw him i fought him a detention mr potter tonight my office? Oh no. no. She triggered the mad Every lad inside. The mad Wait. lad. It's very easily provoked. Well, oh, that was fun. Can't believe she won't let us practice spells in OWLs here. That's what you're upset about. Not that a teacher is telling everyone <laughs> I'm a liar. We could talk to Fred and George. They've already done fifth year defense against the dark arts. Those two? They only know flashy stuff, not real magic. Got nothing to lose though, have we? Come on, let's find them. Alright, let's go ask Fred and George. They seem to be very far away, so let's go. Let's follow the footsteps. Did you hear about the squib? Who won a million galleons and asked for it all in small change? Yeah, it was completely canuts! <laughs> <laughs> completely canuts, okay. Uh, these are the gargoyles kind of things. Uh, the pigs with wings? The hogs. They are hog statues. Like uh, the hog's head, uh, hog's meat, hogwarts, everything. Seems to have a lot of hog in the in the names around here in the wizarding world. I wonder what it's about. Hey. Let's talk to girls. We need I to wish I was as good at Quidditch as you. I'm not talking to you, Potter. My mum almost banned me from school because of you. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, okay. So, uh, I thought she was friendly. You're Fred and George's friend, aren't you? Will you ask them if I can be a tester for their snack boxes? I heard they're paying galleons. Paying galleons, so... You're interested in the money. Get lost. Yeah, get lost. Ah. 
Wingardium Leviosa. And we found a secret. <laughs> yes. Okay. Hopefully, Murta won't show up. No. Okay. We get. Ah, she shows up all the time. She needs to stop doing that. Look at all of these beautiful corridors. I just, I, I, I really can just stay the whole day. Explore, exploring Hogwarts. And finding secrets. And a sleepy, sleepy portrait. Curious, I didn't know they sleep. Apparently they do. And here's the entrance to the to the charms classroom. But we cannot go in, unfortunately. Not right now. And this portrait doesn't seem... What? <laughs> it was floating in the air. It's not supposed to happen. Or is it? All of them are. Look. Spooky things. Did you see that, Hermione? Strange. Very strange. Strange things. Let's just put it in the right place. Because apparently we should take uh, Filch's, Filch's job, you know? Because we are just doing all the cleaning, all the repairs, and everything around here. So, I think we should be earning some money for this. Don't you agree with me? And... Lady would have more manners. The great lady. Okay, we free. We freed a, a, a ghost. Apparently, every time we put up one of these portraits from the the ghosts, they seem to come out of the walls. It makes sense to me. I think they're outside. I know they are outside, Ronald. But I, <laughs> I'm going to explore the heck out of this. And I just found something else. A sort of badge thing. I don't know what it is about, but here's the library. Let's take a look on the library. Hello to you, tiny man. And hello to you, tall girl. Shut it. My friends here have the incredibly annoying habit of reminding me of stuff all the time, non stop. But it's okay. okay Harry. Bye. I need lots of reminding, actually. <laughs> I forget what I have to do in these games all the time. This one here doesn't seem to have anything behind it, so... Yes... No, completely... Completely empty here, just normal tapestry. Potty Weety Potter... I'm just... I'm just... I'm like Dora, Explorer. I'm just finding out all of the secrets here. Can you see the destroyed armor? Did you spot it? Have you spotted the secret behind the tapestry? I think they're outside. 
Have you spotted Fred and George? There they are. Are you seeing Fred and George? Where are they? Let's look on the map. <laughs> the Marauders map. Okay. Let's go talk to Fred and George, see if they are up to the trouble. Hello, Prefects. Come see we're not causing trouble. What do you want, Harry? What is it you want to ask us? It's Umbridge. She won't teach us anything practical in defense against the dark arts. We heard. So you want our help? What do you think, George? I think with this sorry lot, we better start with the basics. All Once right. Out, everyone. Let's begin. Now, the best sort of opponent is a wandless opponent. Care to demonstrate, George? I'd be delighted, Fred. Watch closely now. Expelliarmus! Exemplary, George. I'd almost think you'd been awake in class. <laughs> <laughs> now let's see you do it, Harry. Two times down. Okay. Expelliarmus! Now you've got it. We just push two times down. The way we do spells in this game is really fun. Maybe they will have something similar to this in Hogwarts Legacy. Well done! You even got Ron to cast it correctly. Get lost. <laughs> now, Expelliarmus is alright, but when it comes to wiping the smile off the face of a Slytherin, there's nothing quite as good as Stupefy, as Fred will demonstrate. Okay, Stupefy. Stupefy! <laughs> Not bad. Now, let's see you do it, Harry. Just imagine, I'm Malfoy. God knows how many times I I shouted stupefy when I was a kid. I don't stupefy! do it anymore, I swear. The patience it. my my parents must have had to see me running around stupefy. with the stick, shouting stupefy, Not stupefy. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now, if you'll excuse us. We're busy men. We've got place to go, people to see. You should keep practicing those spells when you get a chance. But who should we practice on? Oh, any passing Slytherin will do. <laughs> See you later! Any passing Slytherin. Harry, hadn't you better go to your detention? We'll meet you when you get out of Umbridge's office. Yeah. See you later. Oh, well, well. Looking for trouble, Potter. Ah, uh, and here we have... <laughs> right on time, a random Slytherin for us to practice on. <laughs> well, let's... Expelling let's just... <laughs> Let's just randomly fight this guy because we are looking for trouble. Double trouble. Stupefy. And he's on the ground. Let's finish him with Expelliarmus. Okay. Completely normal. Not random at all. Just another normal day at Hogwarts. Good evening, Mr. Potter. You know why you are here? Yes, for telling the truth. I'll decide what the truth is. My dear God. <laughs> I must not ah! What's that in your hand? I thought you said Umbridge gave you lines. Oh, she did. Let's talk to Hermione. She'll know something to help heal your hand. Oh. oh. Hermione. Look what Umbridge made Harry do. That woman really is a monster. You don't You've say. You've got to tell Dumbledore about this. No, I'm not giving Umbridge the satisfaction. Well, a solution of strained and pickled Mertlap tentacles will help to soothe the wound, but I need to check how to extract it. Let me guess. We have to go to the library. It's not as though you're actually allergic to books, Ron. Hey! <laughs> allergic to there. books. Wait. I solemnly swear that I am up to no Someone good. Someone was shouting at us? Well, let me take a look on the map here and find the... Um, the library. We were just there, right now. But I don't have all of Hogwarts memorized in my head, so... Mischief managed. So... Who was shouting? There was someone shouting, wasn't it? Climb up here! It's the guy in the portrait. Here, I know the that. Just stand on something. Okay, let me stand on the table so I can get up to talk to you. But I need to get rid of the the chair Are you first. To me? Are you testing my patience? 
Don't mess with me. I'm a mad lad. And I... <laughs> I'm putting the... The burning wood back into the basket, my god. It just... Yes, please. Get it back into the fireplace. Before we start burning the common room. And let's put the, the table over here. Yes, I'm by the fireplace. So we can talk Hello. to this annoying portrait. My god. You took your time. Listen, I've got a stitch of yours that you lost in here. Now I've managed to lose my stitch in one of the portraits around here. You find my stitch, I'll give you yours. Deal? I guess, I guess it's a deal, but it doesn't make any sense that you have a snitch of mine in there. I mean, how do you get a real life object into a portrait? Deposo. I never heard of such magic, but I, you know, I don't know everything, so. If we go to the second floor of the grand staircase, there's a passage behind one of the portraits. Okay. A passage. So is good. A shortcut. All right. I presume you would like someone to reduce the pain. Don't you like secrets? I've got no. You. No. Who cursed me with you? Who cursed me with you? All your discoveries are making my arm ache. We're going to take another look in here. Shortly, just to see if there's anything new. And there is. Right here. I was a massive fan of the books. I'd read, I think, the first and the second. And... Yeah, these are making-offs. Of the game, a little behind the scenes kind of stuff. She can kind of get away with things. Well, we are not going to watch those right now. Maybe I'll do a watching session in the end of the game, so that we can watch them together. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it's a problem with copyrights to play those videos. I'm not sure, but we'll leave it for for later on, okay? Because they are... they are a bit long, the videos. So let's go down, down, down the hundred steps and let's go find the, the portrait that Hermione just told us about. Why don't you talk to this portrait? Maybe he will let us use the secret passage. Hi. You got a secret passage, don't you? My, my, an inquisitive mind. Your deduction is correct. I do stand sentinel over such a passage, though I only allow those who are keen of mind to pass. You mean in a test? Indeed. I wish you to assist me in my quest for knowledge. You must locate a first-year Ravenclaw student and discover where Rowena Ravenclaw came from. A simple task, but informative nonetheless. Okay, then, so we have to find a Ravenclaw student. Ah, my fellow Ravenclaws. They know everything about everything. <laughs> oh, look, it's Weasel King and Fred. Whatever. I think I found one. Let's talk to her. Hey, do you know where Rowena Ravenclaw came from? Yeah, of course. Rowena Ravenclaw is from the Glens. Right, thanks. From the Glens. All right. So, ah, and she went away. I thought that, would, that was going to be a good way to start a conversation, maybe, you know. Maybe I could get a date with her. Ah, let's go into the Great Hall now that we can. Now, this does look great, doesn't it? It looks very, very good. Is it true? All the things they said about you in the Daily Prophet? No, it's not. 
Well, let's talk to, to the people around here. Maybe there are some girls. Hi. Hi. I wish I was as good at Quidditch as you. How are you? Okay. I'm good, thank you. Okay, some people being nice around here. Hey, do you know where Rowena Ravenclaw came from? Yeah, of course. Rowena Ravenclaw was from the Glens. Right, thanks. <laughs> Why asking the same things again? Amnesia, Harry? Again? Amnesia symptoms? Hi, Harry. Hello there. Uh, I'm just... I'm just annoying everyone. It's my job. It's the second main quest. Annoy people. And this thing here... It's very tall. Very tall. I think some things are out of proportion here. <laughs> or is is he Dumbledore that tall? Is he very tall? I don't know. And we just found out the trophy trophy room. Speaking of Dumbledore. <laughs> Harry, did you put your name in the goblet of fire? Nope. I did not. I know I am a mad lad, but that doesn't mean I want to die in this crazy tournament. There have been loads of good Quidditch players. I'm not going to win any trophies this year. Oh, that's very pessimistic, Harry Potter. Try to be more optimistic about things but yeah you're pretty much screwed <laughs> screwed this year you already have umbrage against you and everyone else is very suspicious no one likes you no no okay no let's not be pessimistic like him there are some people here which are still my fans <laughs> i just really love exploring this place I might do a whole video of just walking around, you know, not following the story, just walking around so that you can, you know, feel like you're walking around Hogwarts, kind of like some of the other videos I've done, the 3D tour ambiences. I can use this game and just record myself walking around, doing a very big tour. Rowena Ravenclaw came from the Glens. Excellent. My faith in the House of Ravenclaw is maintained. I would say your exertions warrant an O for outstanding. The way is open to you. Next time, simply say, studious success. What a good day for learning. Studious success. A healthy mind is an inquisitive mind. It would be very immersive, I believe. I wish this game had a first-person view, like from the eyes perspective, but it doesn't, unfortunately. But this is not very bad as well, the third person. The book we need and now, somewhere. where is the book? Where's the book? Where's the book we need? We need to find a book. Come on, Hermione. Give us a hand there here. There it is! Up there! That's the book we need! How are we supposed to get up there? I don't remember McGonagall teaching us how to turn into birds. Well, of course. <laughs> of course, right? Where of course it is. In the, in the top. So that we can do parkour. And now it's just playing games with us. Alright. Let's not get angry. Don't let the mad lad escape, Harry. Hold it in. Hold it in. It's just a book. Let's just go and g grab it over there now. I'm sure it's going to fly away again. Yes. Just focus. Just focus. Just a normal day at Hogwarts, you know? 
You want to get a book, it flies away. You want to go up the stairs, it moves around. You want to talk to a girl, they run away. Just a normal, normal day at Hogwarts. But not to worry, we can do this. We are the chosen ones. Once? <laughs> the chosen one. Okay. Let's grab this goddamn book. This isn't the right book. This is from the restricted section. It must have escaped. Let's get somewhere private where we can check this book. How about moaning Myrtle's bathroom? That would be perfect. What? Why would you suggest Myrtle's bathroom, Harry? Have you lost your head? She's already stalking us all around Hogwarts. And now we're going to go directly to her place. And I found a secret. A Fred and George parcel. What do I do with that? Anything? Or is it just to give me points? And here we have a very good version of the library. Doesn't have any chairs though. How do people sit? <laughs> do it just stand around and read the books? And here's the restricted section. So, if the book, Let's get to Moaning if the bathroom. book came from here, why don't we read it over here? There's no one here, seems very secret, right, Hermione? Please don't make me go to Moaning Myrtle's bathroom. Please. See, I'm begging you. I'm waving my... Let's get to Moaning Myrtle's bathroom. Oh, God. Okay. Let's go to Moaning Myrtle's bathroom. That seems like the most logical thing to do. And I spotted something. It's the monstrous Wingardium book Leviosa. of monsters. Accio. What is it doing over here? Also. Okay. We can't do anything with it. We can't take it with us. But it's a nice, a nice little easter egg. So, I think I'm going to make uh, these videos very long, uh, but I'll, I'll make it in parts, you know, but they will be long. Yeah, they will be like at least one hour, so they are something that you can listen to at bedtime or something. <laughs> Maybe it works for you, you know, relaxing. There was a time where I used to watch some gameplays before bedtime just to relax and I used to fall asleep to them so maybe it works for you as well so I'll make the, them an hour long I usually I used to make them 20 minutes long I'll keep that to the funny versions in the Dreamwalker channel and over here we have one hour relaxing versions So, <clears throat> so this one is close to, to ending. And where, yes, um, what do you think of it? You can tell me now in the, the premiere chat if you think this is a interesting idea. And, or if you're watching this later on, you can just leave a comment. And if you liked, you... You can give a like, a thumbs up to the video, and I will know if you want to keep watching a relaxing, soft-spoken version of the game. Hey. All right. And here we go again. 
another ghost. Yes, another ghost coming out of the wall. This time is the fat friar. And he doesn't look good at all. <laughs> he doesn't look good at all. Let's cross the bridge and we are almost almost there. Look over there. That's the other bridge where Neville was getting bullied. It's very cool to, to just explore Hogwarts in this way. And here we are getting to Moaning Myrtle's Corridor. Beware, mudbloods. Enemies of the air. I can't see why it would be in the restricted section. It looks like a normal book on the practical use of spells. That's it then. Practical use. I bet Umbridge had it put there to stop us practicing any more spells. Come on, Harry. Let's choose one to learn. Whatever. Uh. <laughs> well, here's a good one to start with. Incendio! It says here that you need to aim your wand, then simply tap it, like this, and use the incantation. Okay, let's try this. Incendio! <laughs> Hermione wants to put everything on fire right now, as she learned this spell. <laughs> She's getting very rebel. Let's practice on the lamps in here. Go on, Harry. Yeah, let's turn on the lights. Oh, don't put the lights on. I've got a Oh, well done. Well done. We disturbed Myrtle. Oh, now she's going to be crying out loud. Oh, it's you, Harry. You said you'd visit me. Oh god, hi Martel. Who cursed me with you? <laughs> this book is really useful. Are you gonna make us take it back and what? Library books are meant to be borrowed, so it's not as if we're doing anything wrong. I'll keep hold of it. Let's get back to the common room. We need to get ready for our Hogsmeade visit. Okay, Hogsmeade. That's nice. Serious? So Umbridge is causing trouble. She's not letting us use magic. That's because Fudge thinks Dumbledore is using Hogwarts to form a wizard army. Someone's coming. Sorry, you're on your own. Blimey. Great. Huh? Voldemort's on the move and Fudge is as good as helping him. What are we supposed to do? Okay, so that was it. That was the end of today's episode. And I hope you enjoyed and until the next time, with another soft-spoken, relaxing gameplay. So, let me invite you one last time to check out in the Dreamwalker channel. You're going to find the link in the comment, the pin, pin comment below, and in the description as well, to the Dreamwalker channel. But for now, that was all, and... I wish you a relaxing night or a good day and yeah, stay well. <laughs>